Dr. Scholl again at Student Health Services. Uh, this is Q&A, I believe number five now. Uh, before we get started, this is just a brief plug, just to let you know that we are open, Student Health Services are open, Student Counseling Centre is open as well. So for your physical and emotional needs, please don't hesitate to give us a call. The numbers, I believe, are all there on the website for you. So Student Counseling Centre for uh, telecounseling services as well as uh, us for uh, whatever you need, please call for an appointment. In regards to the question and answering, uh, on the website there's been uh, several uh, questions in regards to what is the virus and, and so forth. So I've broken it down to about uh, seven items. The first question is in regards to social distancing and what does that really mean. Uh, this is a really a great question because it seems to uh, confer such a negative connotation, almost like solitary confinement. And ultimately this is not the intended meaning of that. Uh, what we're suggesting you do is actually increase your social connection between one another while at the same time maintaining physical separation of that six feet if possible. Question number two, uh, this is in regards to community transmission and what is community transition and what do we, what does that entail? This is a, a, another really good question. It's one of those things that the experts uh, were talking about. Uh, they were worried about in terms of human to human transmission uh, that is not occurring as a result of travel. This is exactly why we need to enforce that six foot rule, the concept of physical, physical separation to limit the contact and therefore limit spread of this virus and it's conceptually probably the most important thing that we need to do or enforce at this point in time. Question number three, so is travel still an issue? The answer to that is absolutely yes. For those that have come back for vacation, at least a million people uh, in the past 14 days since March break. This is about 140 of our population, or about 2.5% that have just returned home. And yes, in particular, this does apply to the United States, particularly to the United States. Number four, so what do I do when I come from home in regards to uh, travel? which is a segue from number three and another very good question. We would ask that if you're one of those 40 people that have returned back home, please continue to stay there and have someone complete uh, or do your shopping for you, complete your 14 days at home uh, so that you do not transmit the virus to others. Next question is, how is the virus actually transmitted and should I basically be living in a bubble, which is a very good question. The infection actually happens by what we call droplet transmission or droplet spread. That means that you get it by touching something that has the virus on it and then therefore touching one of your mucous membranes. That means your eyes, uh, your nose and your mouth. Um, it is not felt, felt, felt to be an airborne transmission, but we ask that you still maintain that six foot distance, that six foot radius, so then any errant cough or sneeze that comes your way doesn't affect you. So question number six is how about what happens if I do go out and do I have to immediately come home, change my clothes, uh, take a shower, am I, am I being overly paranoid in this situation? And the answer to that is yes, no, and maybe. So what you need to do is you need to practice good social distancing. Don't make contact with your, with your mucous membranes, your face, your, and wash your hands. Then technically you should be okay. After a walk or just going uh, for a drive, if you've got cabin fever, which we recommend you try to get out of the house, you should also be fine as well. The last question is, how serious is this and what is the take home message? And the answer to that in the medical community is yes, this is a very serious issue. If we do not self-enforce the simple concept of social distancing and exercise common sense, basically we're playing Russian roulette. Truly, we need to heed what the experts are all saying about this highly infectious virus, because if we don't, then the so-called all-important curve that we like to flatten will take off exponentially, and it won't flatten. We've seen Italy, Spain, China, Iran, and so forth. So the upshot of this is that we will have a lot of sick people if we are not careful. Ultimately, a lot of them will need breathing support, ventilators, which are so much talked about in the media. So please, don't make doctors choose who gets treatment, and ultimately who succumbs to this virus. Let's all not play Russian roulette, let's do our part, let's stay home, stay connected, stay positive, and trust in the process and those that are around you doing the same thing. We're all in this together, stay well.